talk about trick-or-treating. It is so much fun, but if your kids suffer from allergies or you're trying to keep sweets to a minimum, it can get a little more complicated, which is why we're really happy to have holistic health coach Megan Tuska here with some nice ideas on ways you can help. You brought a really nice example of fun things you can do. Halloween can be so stressful if you have a child with allergies. Completely. And even if you're trying to cut back the sugar. Uh, you know, my family changed our diet a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and we still want to have fun at Halloween. Mm -hmm. And so I brought some ideas of different things that we can do. Well, let's start right yep. here. Actually, we're, we're going to oh, we, we'll start down here. Yep. All right, I will yep. follow your lead. Oh. All right. Um, we'll start down here. These are just some ideas of some healthier options uh -huh. uh, for trick-or-treaters. But we've got uh, raisins. I know some people are kind of like raisins. They're, you know, but at least it's something to put in your bag it, it when you're trick-or-treating. And a lot of little kids go out trick-or-treating. Uh -huh. I have a three-year-old. And so raisins are one of her favorite things. So just have a couple of those things around. Uh, another are uh, fruit leather. Fruit. Uh, you know, a lot yeah. of people do gummy bears or fruit snacks. Fruit mm -hmm. leather is actually a better option to have out there. So you can get a big box of these at one of the wholesale clubs, um, throw them in the basket for a little bit healthier option too. Right. And then the last thing I brought is water. We never think all oh, these kids are out. They do get thirsty. Yeah, and so having a little bottle of water for them. Right. So it's a great option. You don't want to go home to rehydrate. Right, right. So that's kind of, that's pretty smart. Right. What did you bring here? So what this is, is this is what you were talking about a little bit with the allergies. This is the Teal mm -hmm. Pumpkin Project. This was introduced three years ago. And what this is, is this is non-food items uh, for children with allergies, but now it can kind of be for any child with a special diet as well. But there are one in 13, uh, or one in 13 um, children have food allergies. So uh, that number is pretty large. Mm -hmm. And so I brought some examples of just some non-food um, items that you can have, but to let your community know that you've got them available is you can paint a teal pumpkin. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy this one. I bought this one at a craft store. Or you can hang up this sign that we've got actually the link uh, that can be downloaded. And it just website. says, yeah. Non-food treats available here. So that's a great thing for a family to see when they're walking down the street. Exactly, exactly. So they can be comfortable sending their child to your house. So I just brought a couple of different things. And it's interesting because all of these have been popular at my house. Surprisingly, pencils. Well, yeah, because these are cool looking. Yeah. These are just number two. Exactly, pencils. exactly. So pencils are great. Um, I also brought some bubbles so that um, those are going to be something new that I'm going to have at my house this year. Um, and then again, for little ones, having the little packs of stickers. But then something new that, you know, in the past couple years that has been out are the glow sticks. Oh, everyone loves so glow sticks. So you can kind of get, uh, you know, a little bit older kids too with the yeah. glow sticks. So it's a great opportunity to make sure you've got something for everybody who's coming trick-or-treating at your glow house. Glow sticks are, are really smart because some kids will choose the glow stick over the candy. Completely, yeah. Even the ones without the allergies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Okay, now when it gets to the book and the game. Yes. Yeah, so your kids have come home with a little bit too much candy. Uh, this is something great. There's a couple different versions online. This is the one that we have, but it's called the Switch Witch. And so the whole idea here, this one is actually a package that comes with a little doll similar to the elf on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So this uh, little switch which can sit out on the, on the uh, you know, mantle for the month, okay. watching good behavior. But basically the idea is that you pull your candy together the night of Halloween, your parents and you can decide how much you're gonna keep, but you pull it together and the switch which comes overnight uh -huh. um, and leaves you a little present. Okay. And takes all your candy. So you never, as a parent, have to worry about that candy coming back out again. Oh, so she trades, the switch switch will trade the a present for candy. Correct. So this and this, the candy goes away to like switch which land with her. Switch which land? Far away. That's just yeah. Very yeah. smart. Yeah. And so that's and really smart. Okay. This is a great story because uh -huh. you can read this story specifically. It's about they need the candy to power their brooms, so they come in. Oh, but otherwise, brilliant. Yeah. Otherwise, online there's some great little poems. You don't need to have the book. Right. To do it. But um, it's a great opportunity to get some of this candy out. And there are yeah. great things to do once you are a parent who has all this candy. Uh -huh. There are great things you can donate it. There are um, programs that actually send candy overseas. You can send it to the troops. Yeah, exactly. Because my former dumbest had a son in the military. Exactly. And so I went and brought him all my little boys. I can say this because my little boy's not watching right now. Give him all the candy. Exactly. Send it over to the guys overseas. Thank you so much yeah. for being here. Yeah. Very smart. Great ideas, Megan. Thank you. So finding just the right Halloween costume.